555 for your daily message or oh, massages. Big Cat, you have, you simply have to ask the right question in order to get the intel, the full recon. Know what's going on where trication cannot be indicated, where smokation will be put out. We are still under the energies of the Lion's Gate approaching tomorrow on 8-8, don't you know, darling dears, on a new moon, a Leo's new moon. It's an op the Lion's Gate is a powerful opportunity to transform, release, activate, manifest and create. Mm -hmm. The new moon in Leo bring, also brings an extra bout of energy, darling dears. With both the sun and the moon aligned in Leo, we'll feel charismatic, social, right? Plant seeds of your intentions. Plant the seeds and work in silence. Shut up. I tell you this all the time. You shut up. Don't know what nothing. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to ask the right questions? Listen, someone wants to ask questions. I'm very busy. Always on alive. And it's a sign from God to let you know that this is important intel, darling dears. Let's get back into it. Bring back the vibe. Energy's up, up. Okay. What does it mean to ask the right questions? You're listening for specific information. Good morning, Karma. This means you have to communicate well, darling dears. You need to ask the right question at the right time. The wrong question is almost guaranteed to generate the wrong answer. A quick, a quick, uh, let's see, a quick example. Asking a back front neck stabbing snake with suspected tree sloth behavior, are you cheating? Is the wrong question, blood. <laughs> you don't need to ask them. You need to ask yourself these questions. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Because your action from asking the wrong question will keep you stagnant and stuck and in other words, being put upon, right? Having your stresses activated on a daily basis, darling dears. When getting the wrong answer, try asking the right questions. Distinguish between an open and a closed question, right? An open question is you're inviting the answer. A closed question is like you're telling them what's going on. It's a statement within the question. Are you kidding me? We're not going for closed question, guys. I told you, we're doing it the Jamaican way now. One bop and we get everything. We go in and we go out. It's always a mission impossible with the big cat. When you've, when you've engaged, your grey matters. How you ask the question without appearing accusatory, right? Number one, you breathe. Take a deep breath, right? Express your true feeling around the question. Don't beat about the bush. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Your tone of voice is very important. Your facial and your gestures are equally important. And make sure you stay focused on the solution, the answer to said question. This is where we take it into the body language, darling dears. Before you ask the right question where you're trying to get to the bottom of the intel, do the full on recon. You ask base questions. If, if 
the um, the question, the person being questioned is known to you, right? Then you can ask, you know, regular questions about their day, this, that, and the other. You know, you know how to pile it on to see their bodily reactions, their eye. You get the baseline reactions, but sometimes you have what a master airbender, right? That has a PhD in liation. Out of their lying liar holes. This is where the tone comes into play. And your own gestures and actions. Because they're not expecting you to have that amount of intelligence, right? To be able to ask the right question. It's how you present it, darling dears. We're going to find out what's going to happen if you continue to ask the wrong questions. Let's call in the entities of guidance and protection, big cat. Energies up, right? Let's dive right in, darling dears. You're gonna get calm. Let's get the book. Have the fairies gone away with this book. Are they going to play with me today? not the deck darling dears they've done it again in their dextricity which one do I choose then have to be sure mm -hmm. right overall ancestral message around asking the right questions what will be gifted to you Let's go with that first, shall we? Miracles, darling dears. Expect the wonders to emerge. Knowledge is power, I tell you all this time. And what is power? Power is power. Power brings choice. Choice brings freedoms. Having that what? Proverbial genie in the lamp. Clearing up all confusions and granting your deepest heart desires. Right, let's get the deeper message to this. It's on page 75. The seven and the five is what? The chariot. Um, cancer energy as well as the five Taurus Hierophant energy it speaks of what? Success through determination and a show of strength darling dear, one that is spiritually guided, why? Because you're setting certain boundaries certain things, you're really as we already said we are adopting the what? Bushido really, right? Righteous, courageous compassion, respect truthfulness, honour, loyalty and the eighth one is to embody and exemplify the seven, the previous seven rules. Page 75. You can screenshot it and read it at your leisure. Right next to Mystic Healer, eh? Everything is a sign in my reads. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty. Majestic powers wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. Especially when you ask the right questions, darling dear. 
And those questions always start with self. The scar, the scar traveler wants you to know what is expected tends to be realized. Mm -hmm. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish them. When they appear, no matter how small they may see. What others see as ordinary, the scar traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life in a new way. Love your life, darling dears. As you what take on more intel. Let go of fear and expectations, right? And allow the creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think. Miracles can appear in your life. All is well. Love it. As you continue to ask the right questions, let's get two more energies around that. I get the giant card so you can feel me. Are they kidding me? shape of these miracles are going to take what form as you ask the right questions listen if there is a dick dealer a mattress back tree sloth right they are going to be what stopped in their tracks right those that like to come through for a good time but not a long time the fair weather friends the toxic family members coming back from the pet cemetery right to beguile you but you will be prepared with the right questions as you allow what? Spirit to move through your life and create miracles, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Wands is what? Oh, fire, as well as earth energy, darling dears. This speaks about what? Frustrations in a working life. Somebody's going through certain frustrations. Why? Because they didn't think first, right? They were hasty, right? to make changes mm -hmm. and this change is what causing a great amount of jealousy towards you this is why if you are approached by these what cretins right these creatures from the back wood right looking like they need a whole facial bath and antibiotics and not necessarily in that order darling dears not necessarily this person is a liar this person is what a what an advocate for the STD League, darling, near the League. Definitely a snake. Somebody who is aghast, right, and shocked by the progress you've made. It's been like miracles being performed before their very eyes. Because you know, this same stagnant one is Sputnik. On the case, at all times. Why? Because you have it like that. This is also a message of good news. Some of you are going to be told um, the good news can take anything in the form of what you've put your efforts towards. This could be a new job, building a new business, right? This is going to be messages, right? Intel, through you having asked the correct, the right question is coming towards you. Those helping hands, right, are on their way. Page of Wands, in the upright, this is all fire energy. And fire energy is about your creativity, your action, your passion. This is about you what focusing on your passion. A definite sign that a miracle is about to move through your life because you continue to ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. The page of once also speaks about an unexpected meeting, one that you can actually trust in. This also speaks about what a child, if this is not your child, this is about you being a student in a new field, something that is going to catch your fires and create what? A magnitude of miracles in your life. This feels like multiple streams of income to me, darling dears. 
passive income. This is what we're working towards. Mm-hmm. The page of wands is also telling me at this moment in time that there was many obstacles put in your way. Some of them were immoral, as we've already seen, where integrity was not an aforethought. Mm-hmm. This also speaks about what? You discovering a new side to yourself. One, which is what more focused, man? Your eye on the prize. You are trusting your vision. The ones also speaks about what? Um, psychic abilities, your intuition, your discernment. This is about you getting a childlike passion and directing that towards your creativities. This is where the miracles are being formed in your life. Love it. Let's get the domino of the day, darling. Yes. Good morning, Lee. It's long time. Where have you been? Was duct tape and chloroform involved? I haven't seen you comment for a long time. Recap. You have the double two. This is the high priestess. Moon. Right, as well as water energy, so nice. Universe had to come through with it twice. This talks about your discernment, darling dear, and your intuition. The high priestess always sits between Boaz and Jashin, completion and beginning. This is an ending to a situation that kept you stagnant and stuck. Why? Because you took the initiative and asked the right questions, and those questions came of self. Mm -hmm. The high priestess also right keeps a fire this is about you what understanding what the lessons that you went through but not living those lessons this is about you using them as stepping stones as you continue to what accept miracles in your life let me get the camera to turn around a little bit yeah mm -hmm. the two two right also speaks about a wish whatever your deepest wish was or is is about to be granted use the energy of the lion's gate the eight eight is auspicious and absolutely divine and it's sublime why because it's in the age of aquarius look at all of the changes in this world energies that's been used against you for a millennia to keep you dumbed down not knowing that you are connected to the source everything comes from within this is why the high priestess energy is coming out twice darling dear it also brings the energy of a four mm -hmm. you assuming a, a position of leadership entrepreneurship always comes with the ones darling dear being what directed towards your creativities finding it Go into your birth natal chart. Look at your north node and your midhaven. I've already told you many times how to find the pentacle in your birth natal chart. The second house, the sixth house, and the tenth house. But you need to sort your life out first by asking the right question, darling dears. Mm hmm. How you, how you understand your life, that's the first, the fifth and the ninth house, darling dear. Your relationships is the third, the seventh and the eleventh house, darlings. Get to it, start. You have to be in the position to ask the right questions in order for divine Father God most high to move miracles into your, into your hemisphere, your ambience. As a light worker, as Yoka, you are deserving. And once you step on your path and put passion behind it and single mindedness, this is the season for what? Cool hand loop holding your gangster as well as you as your tongue at inappropriate moments. Holding your tongue when you go to ask the wrong question. The energy of the four also brings in the keyword communication. As I said, you've got incoming. It could be emails, telephone calls, right? Somebody coming with some form of intel, right? That's going to make you into a student. This talks about what gathering season, important information on the way. 
It could come on what? Many form. In many forms, could come in a dream. When you remember a dream, it is an important message which you need wants to decipher. Start. The energy of the four again brings into mind what the emperor aries as well as mars energy this is a season where you what stand head and shoulders above this is about owning your gangster the emperor is also a father father figure this talks about being a boss and a boss being what attracting a boss as you ask the right questions the right questions will be asked of you You'll know it. You'll feel it in your solar plexus. As you what? Boss up on your psychic abilities and learn to read the energies. There's layers to this awakening. She's naive. Trust and believe. Mm-hmm. Right. We're going to have a quick look-see as to what what's going to happen if you continue to ask the wrong questions and allow what confusion and i don't know what's going on right to still perpetrate in your hemisphere what's going to happen what's this hey hey multitude multitude right a plethora of burdens that's going to bend your back darling dear Mm hmm Saturn, as well as what? Sagittarius energy, darling dears. The Ten of Wands. Mm hmm This talks about what? You having to what? Release emotional burdens in order to get the right questions. This is about you not using your emotions. Don't let your questions be motivated by emotions. Because if you are, I've told you this also many times, who controls your emotions is your king. This talks about what? You'll be, be fret with hard work, right? Overwhelmed with issues and problems, right? And imprisoned by commitments that in some cases is not yours to take on. If you don't ask the right questions. Ten of Wands, darling, yes. Let's clarify this Ten of Wands. You are highly intuitive. The Queen of Cups, right, is nurturing. You have the gift of nurturing others. This is why you have to understand you don't want to be tied up in commitments that are not yours. Right, somebody or someone is going to what be banking on your unconditional love, hoping that world will never run dry. Have you looking like what Quasimodo's bestie in them streets, darling? Yeah, this is about you. What having asked the right questions, you know who to cut off from your emotional well. Mm -hmm. Intuitively guided, this talks about your loyalty, you being a loyal partner, an ideal partner, because why? You are caring and you take the time to consider others' feelings. But this can also put you in what? A people-pleasing state. Well, you're afraid to ask the right questions, why? Because you feel scared to be alone. Really? Maybe some people need to be gone. We're seeing 88 in the chat room. And I told you, tomorrow is 8-8, the Lion's Gate, and the new moon in Leo. Darling dears, everything is a sign. And when we see the number 88, it talks about what? A higher calling. Mm -hmm. Being grounded in your self-awareness, right? And reverence for life. The life within yourself, darling dears. By not asking the right questions, your unconditional love will be abused. Pulled about like taffy, leaving all sorts of states, especially what? Spiritually bankrupt and rock pocketers. Two dismal states to be in, guys. It sucks and blows. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more cards on the deck. Right. 
right. The Queen of Wands is clarified. Sorry, the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Swords. This is again speaking about asking the right questions, speaking your truth, right? Being hasty to take action on said answers once they have you've been furnished with them. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Swords also speaks about what your social contacts, not being hasty with certain on certain social contacts. Some of you are quick to cut certain people off without asking them the right questions and you're left with a why, right? This will cause a lot of conflict, right? And anger within. And what does anger and conflict within? That's taking the poison and waiting for them to die. It will bring on what? Dis-ease, darling dears. This is about you what? Knowing when to hold them and when to fold them, darling dears. but not shying away from asking the right question. Mm -hmm. This is how you'll be able to what? Release yourself from quish, quish, commitments that are not on your spiritual pay grade. This is about you what? As the Queen of Cups calling in your security. Who's your security? Your ancestral team, darling dears. Whomsoever you ask these questions of, they're going to see you as a big, big, fat missed opportunity, right? The Four of Cups on its face, darling dear. Lots of emotions out here. We've also got swords. Yeah, we've got all the suits on the table. Mm -hmm. Four of Cups, Moon, as well as Cancer Energy, darling dears. This talks about what? Moving away from an unhappy, in some cases, love affair. Some or a situation that was emotionally draining. Why? Because you took the time to write up the right questions of yourself. This is about you, what? Releasing un unrealistic ex expectations, right? From a back front neck dagger and snake. One straight out of licking the devil's balls. Listen. Little finger is their name. Pennywise. Right, gotta like behavior is their game. They're not ramping with the calling today. Everything is a sign in my readings. Pay attention, darling dears. This, all of these interruptions, you're going to be interrupted and try to take off your game plan. This is why I say you have to be focused and be sure, right? to get all the intel that you went in to get by asking the right questions. Don't be sidetracked, right, or bamboozled because some would like to what? Turn around an emotional drain on you in order for you to what? Be on the defense, darling dear, and all over the place and not get your point across. This is what? Blame shifting and gaslighting. Mm -hmm. Burdens that you simply have to turn your back on once you ask the right questions. As the Queen of Cups, you are being intuitively guided, right, to your harvest season. This is about you being loyal to whatever grind you've got going on, your multiple streams of income. Some of you are what? Turning your psychic abilities into a business. Posh clap. Everybody has a role on this, Malcolm. If this is what you're using it for, you're getting the green light to go ahead, right? This is about you releasing, releasing other people's ideas. Asking the right question of yourself. Do you have what it takes to put in the effort, right, for yourself? And not be deterred, right, or taken off your gangster by what burdens that are not yours? Ask the right questions, dears. Mm -hmm. Your loyalty, right, was taken advantage of by many, could be as many as seven people, right? Chariot, cancer energy on its face, darling dears. This, in this situation, you was indeed, it, indeed, it, did I say? Indeed, right? A wounded warrior, right? You was cut off at the knees, darling dear, because you was in bed, sleeping with the enemy, possibly a jealous partner in the business field, because it's right next to the Pentacle. They didn't what respect what you bought what you brought to the table. This person, right, was cut off from what? Their spiritual bank. They abused your loyalty. 
And in some cases, they pilfered your penticales, right, to further their own ends. If that's the case, Spirit wants you to what? Let it go, darling, dears, and be quick with it, right? Cut it off. The source also speaks about what? A spiritual team. Something is, some things you just don't need to put your hairline to. When the student is ready, as you are, as the Queen of Cups, all you have to do is ask. And the teachers will appear, your guides, your team, for whatever field you focus on. But you have to ask the right question. Being passionate, as only the Page of Wands can be when asking said questions. Somebody sees you or someone sees you, you as a missed opportunity. Someone who no longer has emotional control. You've decided not to take their cup of opium because you realize that this person was determined to have you at the bottom of the pot, darling dear. This is someone who is what? Extremely unenlightened and codependent. They are going through health issues at this moment in time. I'm hearing dehydration. This person is not eating properly, right? And they're what? Having a lot of what? Psychological breakdowns. This is what? Mini, mini breakdowns as well as um, what's, what's that word? Tantrums. Yes, thank God. Mm -hmm. They're having tantrums, right? You've been disappointed in a situation, right? That they thought, right? That they'd be able to get out of. Possibly they tried to make you get jealous, right? And look at what time, effort or energy invested in that situation. But you've been spiritually guided, right? To ask the quite right questions. And you dropped it like it was hot, darling dear. Like it was hot. They're not loving the situation. They're not finding it fabulous, gorgeous, or lovely. Mm-hmm. Let's clarify with another deck. Yeah. Clarifying the Ten of Wands. Told you, High Commander Decepticon, Prakala, Prakalisha. Gather up for the information. This is somebody who's emotionally cold, someone who's highly intelligent. Someone, right? Listen, you can go for a dark season, but this is the person that put you in that dark season, right? You could have gone through 10 years, right? Of verbal, physical, mental, emotional abuse. Did I say STDs? Listen, this is the carrier of them, right? And the liar of where, where they was originated from. This is a lying liar, right? A high commander Decepticon, one who is quick to deceive, right? In your cranium, someone who would avoid, avoid the right questions all of the time. Mm -hmm. King of Swords on its face, darling dears. This person, right, is extremely violent and controlling. If you are co-parenting with this person, they are putting the brunt and the burden on you on purpose. Why? Because your world has run dry as far as they are concerned. You've got no love for them. You don't love them, right? You don't even like them. This is about you, what, taking on the full effect of Easter Island and Stevie Wonder using your discernment as well as no contact, right? This is about you continuing to focus on your bad, darling dear, your many investments, being loyal to you, right? This is bringing a return to your health and an opening of your third eye. The raising of your Kundalini. Mm -hmm. This per person wanted you to be burdened, right? They wanted you to be stuck, darling dear. Looking at yesteryear, right? Time traveling to the pet cemetery, right? To dig up the old bones. Good God. Perish the thought. Right? And they're spying. This spine at your creativity is the page of swords talks about how inquisitive you are. You could have as many as two progeny involved in this situation or have adopted that childlike spirit, right? From the page of ones to the page of swords. These are both messenger cards, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This tells me also about you need to be on the alert, right? 
for an expected, unexpected message, an invite, right, to a date, right, some kind of assignation, right, with this twisted individual, right, that is going to be what? Emotionally draining. This person is malicious and vicious with the tongue, I told you. Multiple tantrums and tower moments are kicking off around them, right? Created by them, the common denominator, the one you had to ask the right questions of, or possibly just of yourself, as you did the tinky winky and escaped, you ran away. This is also you moving away from situations, right? Where you've been manipulated, right? By jealous individuals who are, did I tell you that they're spying? Those hillbilly investigations are being launched on a regular basis to find out what you're doing, how these miracles are being created in your life, why you can't take them back, why you're refusing to time travel. This person is spying and they are angry. Causing a lot of emotional bombs to be set off around them and they are quick to rush in. With mental torture, emotional coldness, we see it in, look, you've got the page, the knight and the king, come on. This person is a covert narcissist. It also speaks about um, some of you that's been in, in a, a job, whatever it is, you feel as though you've been what burdened with the brunt of the work, darling dear. It's not being shared out and you're being intuitively guided to step out on your own, invest in yourself. Do I hear entrepreneur? If that's what you want to do, you just need to ask the right questions. You want to ask the right questions. Spirit is giving you the green light. Clarify the Queen of Cups, darling dears. Come through, because we want to know cards. Yeah. This is about travel, darling dear. It's also what? Emotionally and mentally moving on from situations, right? That are below your spiritual pay grade. Calling in your security team. This also speaks about you traveling, some of you. Some of you. You'll be guided to travel. Move your GPS. In order to what? Get to your what? Well, not running dry. This is your money tree. You're going to have to move. You know you can't stay in the situation where you are. And in some cases, it's a mental movation of your mind state. How can you expect, right, miracles of abundance on every level in your life if you're living on a black mentality? Thus, for done into that, it sucks and it blows. Six of Swords, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Again, Spirit wants you to what? Move in silence. In order to what? Gain true progress as you transition. This is also, again, sp sp being guided, spiritually guided, to remove yourself from situations that are full on controlling. Where you lack the ability, what? To release that burden because it's not your forte. You are not supposed to be on a hamster wheel. Our natural state is one of love, compassion and guidance. Spirit is trying to ignite the fire underneath you to know that you can walk alone and do it well. We have the King of Wands on the base of the deck, right? This is about you, what? This is who's watching you at this moment in time. This person is an entrepreneur. Yes, we know the King of Wands can be a dick dealer, but in this particular instance, he's in the upright. Somebody's checking out your lines, possibly online. Why? Because you've got the peas, darling dear. You are stable out there in them streets. This is about you being an ideal partner. They're seeing you as an ideal partner. This person wants to rush in. And they are rushing in. As what? A lyricist, darling dear. They're going to what? Speak. What? What you want to hear. You will be able to ask the right questions. This person is prepared to give you what you truly deserve. The truth, darling dears. This person is extremely charming. Mm -hmm. Possibly, as I said, an entrepreneur, a business owner. This person is highly intelligent. Mid, middle age. I'm hearing middle age. Mm -hmm.
this person what is also extremely reliable they're looking at how you manage to what hold your gangster build your own empire whatever it is this could be a new job some some of you are working online this is what my pentacalis means right some of you are great speakers using your words right to guide you feel as though what maybe you're a bit hasty with the things you say don't no you are unique one of a kind darling dear if you're if you're wondering go and have your fingerprints checked no two prints are like the same not quite the same no just like zebras their stripes they're all different unique you are and this is what you're going to be seen as as you continue to move away mentally from things that don't serve you right that take you off your what hamster wheel the hamster wheel of drudgery because you are looking at abundance this is a season where you will reap what you sow darling dears taurus energy as well as again we have what satin energy mm -hmm. seven of pentacle in the upright darling dears this is about you continuing to what plan plot and strategize strategize perseverance is the way to go in order to what achieve growth this also speaks about what lasting relationships we see that in the energy of the queen of pentacle as well as the king of wands a stable relationship of opposites attracting one that is based in truth roof as we see with the knight of swords this could also what be the making of a, a true liaison a business partnership one that is going to be fruitful darling dears mm -hmm. That said, this talks about seven years of lack. What you had in lack over the past seven years, spirit is going to give you in abundance on every level. Health returning, your hairline looking good, you snatching that waist. Healthier choices. Mm-hmm. Look. Clarifying the seven of Pentacle, the lovers, Gemini energy, I told you. What you are seeking is seeking you. Why? Because you ask the right questions and you have what awakened to yourself, darling dear. Knowing your worth. And as you know your worth and continue to focus on what? Your bag, darling dear. It's very important. I keep telling you this. Right? You are not a gambler and you no longer will be gambled with. This is what a like-minded soul. Bringing what harmony into your life. Why? Because you are whole, darling dear. Whole. Mm-hmm. This also speaks about what? A deep love as well as trust. Why? Because it will be connected by an inner passion. New relationships as well as friendships. Again, we see dates and invitations. This is a date you want to take up. You'll know it. Why? Because it will be something to do with your business, your Pentacale. Could it be a meeting? Who knows? Everybody's paradigm is different, but this is definitely a foot for you as you continue to ask the right questions of yourself and Father God Most High. Until you ask the right question, how can you be gifted with miracles? This situation in the past, you need to leave that she is naive alone. This person is a ticking time bomb, right? Waiting to cut you down to size, put you back into other worth. Give you what? A big cup of opium and cognitive dissonance. They're feeling the energy coming towards you of a union. Like I said, it could be business or romantic, but this is a match made in heaven. Two great minds coming together. Big boss status. What about this stagnancy? Somebody needs to get their car repaired. Something to do, check your tires. Someone needs to check their tires. This also speaks about what? Someone having to cancel their plans due to their lack of transformation, right? This also talks about heartbreak and betrayal. Yeah, with the cancellation of said plans. What plans are these, right? Plans to do F shit, darling dear. Keep someone stuck, right? Whomsoever is trying to what? Pepper you with what? Your heart chakra. Being in the downturn, darling dears, it's not going to work. This is the death card, Scorpio energy, on its face, darling dears, on its face. These, the wicked, the wicked make plans. 
and God laughs. Always. Know this. Mm -hmm. This talks about what? This was a, a seriously toxic situation, one that you could not help. All you would have done was continue to lose your hairline, right? And possibly even your life. These people are what? Stuck in ghetto groundhog day of repeated negative cycles, right? The betrayed amongst the betrayers. This looks like the DNS to me. Six feet, darling dear. Stay away. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Law 10 of the 48 laws of power. Mm -hmm. These same ones will be what? Looking for a free lunch. Law 40 of the 48 laws of power. Something that you must despise. The only thing they helped you with, right, is was the removation of your hairline and your common sense. And they gave you no indications that this was going to go down. And it wasn't funny. Base of the deck, hand in hand. In the reverse, darling dears. This is water as well as Neptune energy. Mm -hmm. This is about you, what? Avoiding conflicts. You are no longer a pushover, right? And you will not be looking overlooking obvious problems in the future. Why? Because you're going to use your discernment. Can't you see the halo around your head? Your third eye on that bitch or midge, whatever the circumstances arise. This is about you no longer sacrificing yourself in order to see if the situation is going to change. No! You don't have the time. No, not on this Malkuth. You've got to giddy up and get things going, set it off. Mm-hmm. The Neptune energy also speaks about what? Ah, um, again, it's talking about the jealousy that's being directed at you. A lot of people are speaking a lot of falsehoods into your life, but they're living within the foolish actions that they created, right? Whatever Maya they are in, they are living in that she's naive. These are the ones that you don't ask any questions of. No, and they would love to come back to cause more confusion in your she's naive. I told you, as you continue to boss up, Go into this spiritually guided union, whether it's romantic or on the business levels, right? They're going to come through. Look at this, Fatum, good God. If it's a romantic, this person has got layers on it, mate. They need to come through the medical team. Stat. Mm-hmm. Look. This is about putting the searchlight on said genitalia. Because you know, it comes with what attachments? This is about you continuing to isolate yourself from those fair weather friends, those back front neck stabbing snakes, right? You've already asked all the questions you need to know of them and every answer was shady, right? You know whom, whom was out there taking your business in the streets. Those merchants of slander, Jeremiah 940, Matthew 1014, continue to dust off your sandals and head out. You've got big things going on as the miracles are being set off in your life. Mm -hmm. We're going to get some answers from the, my Oracle decks. If, you're, if you'd like to purchase them, follow the link in the description box. They're the FP555 Oracle Intel. There's two decks, the Cat and the Phoenix. What else would you need as you hold the whip? And then I'm going to take it over to the Patreon, guys. We need to get the runes involved. Right? This is where you drop the plot twist. Plot twist. Always be of an inquisitive and questioning mind. You have to understand what, who stands to gain in every situation. Don't go into any situation like you're wet behind the ears. You have had too many lessons. You did the DNS like a boss. Don't allow yourself to be drawn back now. Not when you're at breakthrough. What's this? As the miracles and blessings rain down on you. And as I always say, don't get smoked. Don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. See you in the Patreon. Cat, cat.